Hi guys, Tony back again, Horror and Todge. Just thought I'd give you a quick pick up this week. I've had um, a week off work, so popped through to Nottingham and I went to a shop called FOP, which some of you might know in England. It's a bit like HMV, but there's only a couple of them. I think one in Nottingham, one in Sheffield, and then I don't know where the others are, but it's an amazing shop. It's a bit like HMV, but I've said before, I like it better. It's more, uh, the DVDs are in and Blu-rays are in better order, I think. But yeah, this is the this is the bag, FOP. So I don't think they're, they're online, but they don't sell anything online, I don't think, at the minute. But it's sim similar to HMV, really, but wicked. I'll show you what I've got. I've got quite a few Blu-rays. And uh, show you what I got. I got a bit of Christmas money. I know I got a lot for Christmas off my wife, but I had a bit of Christmas money, so I thought, ah, always think Blu-ray time. So some of them are horror, some of them are not horror, but yeah, I'll show you them anyway. So first one I got is John Carpenter's Christine. I've got it on DVD, but for Blu-ray for six quid. It's a wicked film. I haven't seen it for a long time, but I'm going to have to watch it again because it looks awesome on Blu-ray, I bet. So, yeah, that's that one. Everyone knows about Christine. I got the Troll Complete Collection, Troll 1 and 2, Best Worst Movies. It's a crazy film, horrible, but a horrible good, if you know what I mean. That was 15 quid, obviously you can see. You get the slip with it. And it's uh, Eureka. Sorry. Eureka, yeah. Special features, look. Two disc edition. So yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that again. That's a cool move, eight. This one, I don't know anything about it, but I thought it looked good. The best of 80 screen... Queens, I think it's got three films on here Nightmare Sisters Murder Weapon Deadly Embrace, this was in the 2 for 25 range, don't think it's been out long, 88 films slip cover again <sighs> don't know if it's a bit like sexploitation sort of sort of thing but thought we'll get that that looks cool next one was in the 2 15 range I haven't got a Blu-ray copy of Clockwork Orange, which is an awesome film. And these are amazing, these uh, premium collection. I know they're doing an HMV as well. Uh, 2.15 at the minute, or £10 each. You get the Blu-ray, DVD, digital download, plus a bonus disc and exclusive booklet. So, everyone knows about this film, it's amazing. For its time, it's uh, I know jaw dropping really, but yeah, two fifteen quid. It's wicked. I've got this one. I haven't seen it yet. Winchester. Helen Mirren. It's meant to be quite a good film. Seven quid. Blu-ray. So yeah, that's that one. Tell me if you guys have seen it, but I haven't got around to watching it yet. I know it's on Netflix, but. I like the physical copy. This one, which I watched yesterday, when the lights go out, has a slip cover on it. It's a British movie, really British, 70s, uh, like a possess uh, poltergeist movie. It's quite good, actually, it was alright. It's good, I love British films like that, really British. It's basically a young girl. Move into a house, and uh, well, you can imagine what happens. They bring a priest in and stuff, and it's it's quite spooky. It's a good film. It's good enough. It's okay. Uh, the brilliant Christian Bale, American Psycho, fifteenth anniversary edition. Lovely black Blu-ray there, six quid. I haven't got this on Blu-ray. Amazing film, we all know about this as well. Wicked. Here's a film we haven't seen for a long time. Man from Deep River. 
Italian collection. Trying to go for all these on the Slashy collection. I love 88 films. Six quid. <sighs> Wicked film. I love it. Cannibals and shit, you know. But we all know about that. But six quid. And here's some others. I'll show you. So I got Delicatine. Delicatine, whatever it's called. I think it's French or something. Yeah. And this looks. I don't know what it is. Just read the back of it and thought, whoa. Postal. Op Apocalyptic future. People are going mad for meat, the looks of it. It's like currency. So, yeah. Really looking forward to this. That's six quid. Blu ray. This one, six quid. Unsane. I'd never heard of this one either. Just read the back of it. Academy Award women winning. Steven Stockberg. Like a thriller type thing. Looks really good. Digital download as well with it. Ran. Now this is like a... I don't know if it's like a Japanese... Uh, war. War type film, the looks of it. Never seen it. Just picked it up again. Like I said, I just look around the shop. If I see something that catches me, I read the back of it and I just get it. Like I said, I don't know if they're horrible or not, but... Anything out, out there, I'll buy. But yeah, that's two discs. Six quid. That's cool. I got another cult film. Mean Streets, Robert De Niro, Martin Scorsese. Six quid. Don't know if I've seen this one or not. It was like a gangster type movie. Looks really good. Give that a watch at some point. So I don't know when I'm going to fit everything in. I've watched a few films this week. Just watched Deadbeat at Dawn, which was an amazing film. And uh, Elvira. So funny. Love that. And that When the Lights Go Out, I watched that. So I've watched a few films. This one, another British movie, I think. Beast. Seven quid. It's pretty new. Uh, just, you know, troubled woman living in an isolated community finds herself pulled between family and the allure of a secretive outsider suspected of a series of brutal murders. Sounds good. I just read the back, never heard of it. That's that one, Beast. Probably my favourite film of all time, or one of them. Stand by me, six quid. Wicked Blu ray, I haven't got it on Blu ray. I got it on DVD. But I uh, love this film. Nice slip cover. But what can I say? If anyone hasn't seen Stand By Me, watch it. You can watch it. I could watch it every minute of every day, just keep it on in the background and never get bored of it. Wicked film. This one was four quid. Anyone who likes Tom Hardy, it was um, Bronson, another British movie about Charles Bronson. He is an absolute nutcase, but Tom Hardy, it's a young Tom Hardy, before anyone really knew him, plays a good part of Bronson. It's just a crazy film. Watched it a long time ago when it first came out. Remember it being really good. So look forward to watching that again. Four quid. Wicked. Another one of my favourite films, Gangs of New York, I haven't got it on Blu-ray, love this film, absolutely loved Leonardo DiCaprio, Daniel Day-Lewis is amazing in this, Gangs of New York, wicked, six quid, everyone knows Gangs of New York surely, absolutely brilliant film if you haven't seen this, what you been doing, Boys in the Hood, another one of my favourites of all time, Ice Cube, Cuddy Goody Jr., Amazing. Another one. If you haven't seen it, what you've been doing. Will Raw. It's an awesome film. 90s America. 
Another slip case. I like the Stand By Me one. This is a whole collection. This is number seven. I think that's number five. So I'll see what else is in it. I think the Deer Hunter's in this collection. It's like Sony. Sony Pictures. I think it's about 17 of them. Might, when they've got a number on, I generally start to collect. So probably start collecting these ones. Wicked slip covers though. I like the look of them. Amazing. Boys in the Hood. Then I got... Last one out of FOP. 215 with the uh, Clockwork Orange. The amazing Jason the Argonauts. The old one. Wicked film this one. Remember it from being on at Christmas all the time when I was a kid. To like, what is it? 60s or 50s, is it? But uh, this is amazing. This is a wicked film. No one's seen this. Great. Great effects for the time. Bit primitive now, like, but I love this sort of thing on a wicked slip cover and stuff. Look, so yeah, Jason the Argonauts that was two on the 215. Then I've got one off eBay, what come what one for three pound fifty? Crawl, uh, never saw it, but it looks wicked. I want to start collecting these fantasy movies from the 80s and 70s and stuff. But I love anything like this. If it's anything like, I don't know, it looks a bit like Star Wars or, you know, anything fantasy, Willow, anything like that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And for £3.80, I think, delivered. Brand new. Steel. So yeah, guys, that's all on Blu-rays this week. Look, out of FOP, I think I spent, um, I went twice, two different days. I think I spent 77 quid one day and 60 quid the other. So, yeah, and then that cruel DVD, £3.80. So, yeah, look forward to getting into all these. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I had a nice one, a quiet one. And I hope you all have a good New Year. It's New Year's Eve now. Not going to be doing a lot tonight. Might watch a film, but I'll have to watch one what the missus likes because she'll be with me. She won't watch any of these. Oh, maybe Gangs of New York she'll watch or Stand By Me or something, but I'll see I might watch a new one. But I hope you guys have a good one. And uh, tell me if you guys like any of these. Subscribe to me. Talk to me in the comments. Always like hearing from you. And yeah, have a good one. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.